houses. So I definitely failed you guys today. <laughs> I woke up at 3 p.m. London time. I done missed a whole day. The sun is about to go down. My event I'm going to today is at 6.30. It is a women in media event. So that's gonna be tough. It's kind of like I feel like I'm continuing where I left off from the last time I was here. I know where everything is. I'm comfortable with everything. So I'm going to make the best of it. I'm about to be in my office in New York a little bit. Okay, okay. The leader that put this together for women in media, we're gonna do something for um, Women's History Month as well because we talk all this diversity. Let's see that into action, shall we? I'm always trying to come somewhere and disrupt some shit, aren't I? Whatever. The thing like I just say. came from shopping, food shopping that is, because I had to get refreshments for the book signing. Okay, bosses, so I am here. We're getting everything set up. And look at this. I don't know why I love this carpet, but this is where I'm gonna be speaking and sitting and um, reading some favorite parts of the book. <laughs> like I'm trying not to cry. Like I'm very emotional when it has to do with my goals and dreams. But um, I'm in London doing my own book signing. I, I, I really don't know. I'm still taking it in. I'm still taking it in. But I love y'all. So I was able to build some close relationships and all that good stuff. Wow, I'm a, I'm just like extremely happy. Like you just have to go for it. But today I am on the way to another bookstore. I'm gonna try to pitch to them, see how that goes. I'm just gonna show up, you know, mingle with people and be like, hey, so how about this thing like a boss book? How about that? How about that? <laughs> So we'll see. And then after that, I have a um, all women's event to go to. So I'm excited. Here it is. Oh, look at them celebrating their little anniversary. Oh my God, this is so cute. Look, I'm really blown away. Almost there, almost, but not quite. But I am on my way to a vintage festival and I'm very excited. I kind of dressed the part, you know? So again, no space in my suitcase. I have to keep telling myself that so I don't go crazy. I but made it, I made it. I'm gonna try not to get overwhelmed. This should look like something for Xena Warrior Princess. Oh my God. And yes, I had to take a light job for this bus when I was taking pictures and shit. Ugh. But here we are. Yo, these venues though, look at this. Bruh. Anyway, <laughs> so I am going to a meet and greet for travelers, like black women in travel. 
I swear, me and my assistant find the best things out here to do. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. <laughs> we're late, we're late to the party. Cheers. <laughs> One day. So, work is still work right now. I am looking for, well, one, I have a meeting with somebody. Uh, one of these uh, females that I met at the Women in Media Conference. We are going to put a plan together for Women's History Month. And I, I've had her meet me at a bookstore that I'm pitching my book to. Two birds and one stone, people. You gotta work the area, gotta work the area. So yeah, this will be definitely um, next year, not this year. I know you guys are probably booked, I'm booked yeah. as well. And I'm actually leaving London on uh, Friday, so I'm not coming back until until March. So right. definitely something in there. So I am somewhere. I'm going to the London Museum. So there's gonna be a lecture in the sold out event. And you know, closed mouths don't get fed. So I reached out to the museum and the people that were putting it together, told them uh, who I was and what I do. And they gave me a ticket. Yeah. So. History month events, and of course, learning because knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. And I want to know what my people are going through all over the globe. So thank you for the knowledge today. So one of the things that struck me that you said was. So in addition to hanging out in Brixton all day, I'm actually going to go back to the event space and I want them to say it with, my, with their chest in regards to why my shit was, you know, got all messed I'm going to say it in a nice manner, don't get me wrong, but I'm a face to face type of person when it comes to the cultural archives. Evidently there was a whole mistake in the booking system. So I will be back in March for Women's History Month, which actually works better for the brand. And oh my god, I met this queen over here with this beautiful hair. Hey! Yes, and I'm going to be speaking at her event in March. She does, what do you do? Uh, so I run a live music night called Soul Strip Sessions and it supports women in music. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and you know I love music and all about performing <laughs> arts, so that's going to be fun. And of course my, my you know, my London manager. Let me, let me, let me get my, get my London manager here uh, is just uh, my, the turn uh, Say hi, uh, Steve. I just such a thrill to see Alec. I mean, I was just on my way out. Yes. And she appears. That is good. And looking so glamorous. Have conquered London now. She's gonna be coming back again in London in March to just blast London. To just blast London. <laughs> I appreciate him so much. Yeah. And being a six-figure earning entrepreneur, I'm like, how can I take everyone with me? How can I take others who are coming with me to let them know that their dreams are tangible and it is possible to quit that nine to five that you hate and actually um, go to your own endeavors? Wowing in Brixton, like the no. event is not over. Yeah. Really? <laughs> That's the noise we're gonna make on the camera. <laughs> but yes, it's my last day. It wasn't you, right? It wasn't the actor. Last day in London. It was a good last day. So I cannot wait to come back in March. I laid the foundation in August. Came to, to work again in October. You dropped a poem. I dropped the poem. Oh my god. You gotta pull up on your socials, you know. You know, he, he's gonna.